It's been Wyatt, it's been Jake, it's been Vibe, but we are back. It's Alex, and we're just going to play our plane like over at the game. We made quite a bit of our fun progress since we were last with you guys, as you can see here. We have all the mini kits, all the photographs. We've recovered, helped all the sick dinosaurs. We have the 20 red Lego bricks. We've saved all the workers. We have 269 golden bricks of the 275. And obviously we have all 20 ambers. And we have completed all 20 races. The game is 96.2% complete. You can see we have 21 of 26 um, true survivors. Uh, the five that we are missing are only for the uh, b b b go on. It's the bonus, the bonus, uh, the, the bonus levels. And with a gold brick for each of those, that'll take us from two six nine to two seven four golden bricks, which would just leave the one golden brick left. Now I wonder if you get a golden brick for completing everything in the game, which would be the final one that we'd be missing. Yeah, hmm. I think so. Yeah. Well, continue. Uh, so, and we've also, we've also, we've also unlocked all, all of the characters. And all of the dinosaurs. Now we, uh, Missing the one mini kit that we need to complete. So, yes, yeah, so all the dinos, including all of the mini kits, and obviously we have all the vehicles, a few cars, and we have all the other uh, live streams and videos. We've previously got all of them. Will the owner of the child called Griffin please go to the nearest information Start with the small, like, so start off with the small dino. So, we're going to start with a little lost rat car. So, we'll go with the uh, standard velociraptor version. But why don't we? You could do the skinned versions, the, uh, the dinos, and I'll do the skeletons. Or are you going to do the skeletons?
mask in there because you just bones. <laughs> you just bones, man. So the raptor, uh, the raptor can pounce. And they can pounce on the other. So but I've just obviously just shown that you, you, it's possible to get to without using the pounce thing, but this has demonstrated the pounce capabilities. Yeah, you can use the circle button and whoop, there you go. Connect your heads out, and so then you go to the top. Back to the top. Oh no, where have we gone? We're going back the wrong way. We're going the wrong way here. I'm trying to make my way back to the dino delivery bed. Ah, uh, okay. So the skeleton raptor's quite a good thing. Very skinny though. Like. The Dilophosaurus. The Dilophosaurus. Sir. Oh. Hold square and get the aimer and aim it at it and then let go. Oh, or you can, can just tap. Kept changing to the T Rex then. So there you go. So the Dilophosaurus doesn't have the leap. I think it might have the leap that the Raptor has. Oh, jump up on the I prefer jump like the Skellington. But the Dilophosaurus. Has the spitting ability. I prefer the skeleton because those bits like don't go back, which kind of brings doesn't bring like the cool effect to it. You use the circle button for a, a tail attack. Yep, and square for a spit attack. Or sometimes if you go close to an enemy, it does this. Sometimes it does that. If you go close to an enemy. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck! No, I'm not! Oof! Oof. Oh, the Gallimimus have, uh, have ganged up on you there, Alex. And I can't see what I'm doing here, because the Dilophosaurus and the uh, T-Rex are getting in the way. Uh, but the next dino that we're going to look at is, in fact, the Gallimimus. Oh, I've got one here. He's trying to attack me right now. Yeah, yeah. Hell it, hell it. There we go. No, I don't want to be the Dilophosaurus, I want to be the Gellin. Oh, man. I'm going to show off this custom first. It's like dimensional Galmimus. Let's go back to the Galmimus. Sorry about this, but the Dilophosaurus just is just getting in the way. Be right. I quite like this skeleton version, too. It's another favourite of mine. Circle of Pelicat again. This kind of attack that you may have there seen them doing when I was fighting. But now we're part of the gang. 
so we can uh, just do a little bit of a headbutt and a claw thing. Yeah. Tail attack. And, and they're very tall too. Perfect. I say like they're the tallest small dinosaur. I think you're probably right there. They probably are the tallest small dinosaur. But I decided all the other dinosaurs really don't have much of a use for these guys. They are a fun character to play as. I'll, I'll agree. I'll agree with that. So, we're going back to our next one. And we have the Pachycephalosaurus. I don't really like this skill to me. It looks uh, yeah, a bit um, peculiar. I'll show the custom of this. The skeleton with the. Uh, with the dome on the top of his head. I'll show my custom version. <laughs> Look at this. It's a Pachycephalodilophus Spinosaurus. Oh my. That is quite a combination of a dino. So yeah. Pachycephalosaurus obviously uses his head for the attacks. I mean it keep the colour. Mine that. doesn't charge of course. Because it's a Dwarfosaurus. Oh yes, so the charge. <laughs> Square button down. You do a bit of a charge. I don't know if there's anything that we've got to break. Range attacks like. There we go. There you go. I can't do that. I can't do that. So that's the Pachycephalosaurus. Yeah. Ow. I'll just go in. Switch back to the gut, might miss. So next up on the dinosaurs we have the baby triceratops. The baby dinosaurs are so cute. <laughs> and it doesn't have a skeleton version too. It doesn't. No, it doesn't have a skeleton or a custom. No, no skeleton or custom. For so the babies. And gallop away. <laughs> Bam! Oh. That wasn't very nice. Yay! You can hold square so you can do the charge. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, he went to a jump train. Oh. oh no, we're getting attacked down by the Galamaris. Hit them by accident. Baby, 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 try so tops. Right, so the next guy now, so we're going to go and see, and we've got another baby in our collection, and we have the baby T Rex. Look at that. He's so tiny, it's like smaller than the Lego guy. Oh, but you can attack. The baby raptor. Yeah, sure. This thing is so cute. It boings around like a baby. And it has this. So. Oh, look at the baby T Rex. It's got a little bit of a scratch going in. Triceratops. Which one 
of Spartan. So the baby Tyrannosaurus is uh, very similar in terms of shape to the baby Triceratops, yeah, but the Stegosaurus doesn't do the charge. It does a tail attack and does a head butt attack. So there we go, that's all our baby small, well, all the small dinosaurs. Uh, as you'll notice on the, the dino the one we've This one, got like, this babies. is its attack. That's this one's attack. Like, jumps on its head. That's a very high jump, too. This is one of, this is my favourite baby dino. Just walk in and sing! You can switch to it from the menu if you want to. Well, I was just trying to explain the, uh, the custom options that you have there, so you did some more options. We're not going to go through these. You can go into the innovation lab and you can create your custom dinosaurs in each dinosaur type. So the last one is the Dinosaurus, Dinosaurus, and the Pachycephalosaurus. You can go and create custom versions of these over in the Hammond Creation Lab. And uh, as I showed you a bit earlier on, with our custom Gallimimus and the uh, Pachycephalosaurus, Dilophosaurus uh, hybrid. So, customize all sorts of things, mix and match all types of dinosaurs and different colors and things in there. So, we're going to go and have a look at our medium dinosaurs now. Yes. And the first one up here in our medium dinosaur collection is the Triceratops. I'm going to go to the baby version. I'll go to the baby. So, yeah, we've already demonstrated the baby Triceratops into the It's straight the same as the baby. Yeah, there's no, there's no difference here. So they, they do the charge of them, and then obviously the bigger. And there's the different look. Fierce, they've not quite got the baby puppy fat thing going on. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you can do the headbutt with the horns. That looks quite really yep. cool. mine's got a headbutt too. Yeah, look. And then you can do a stomp attack with the sound. Yep, my bell even sounds loud. Your bell even can hear it. There's no roars or anything. Bang! Ooh, X! The X, X is button. like a little roar. So, the X button. What does that give us? Can we hear that? Yeah, so you get a little roar from the X button there. Yep. But that's it for the Triceratops. I'm going back with my fellow raptor. He's oh, just so cute. You really want to unlock the raptor. And then you so, get the... If you unlock the raptor, you still... You get the baby too. We're just going to have a look at the uh, skeleton version here as well, so... It's like the same a bit weird though. So, and again, well, you know, there's nothing different than the skeleton versions do uh, compared to the fully yeah, the normal skin version, but it is just a different, a different look. I've killed the skin, skin version. So you don't really need that. I love the, I love the dinosaurs. Well, there's still a di more dinosaurs to show. There you go, one hit, one stump, squished the baby raptor. Right. Next up on our medium dinosaurs is the Stegosaurus. Oh, I've gone for the skeleton version first this time, I didn't realise. Hey, let's go with it. So look at that, this, this is look really, really different to the skin version, which we'll see in a second, but you can see the bones there from the the uh, shields on its back, and um, you can see the little skeleton head. So there we go, Alex has just got into the, the, the adult version of the Stegosaurus, and that, uh, so they do look uh, different, you've not got all that 
splashiness around them, so they don't take much spin aversion. Oh, got a tail attack going on. They're not very fast, these are all really well. You've got little raw, X raw. And the same with the Pachycephalosaurus. Tail attack. So if I switch to the Pachycephalosaurus, X is a jump on the side. Mediums, obviously. So, oh, so this is one that we've, uh, I don't think we've actually beaten this one before. So we've got the Pyrus, Pyrus, so the Pyrus, so the He's got this, uh, like, horn feature going off there on the back of his head. And this one's, oh, no, it's got a bit of a raw thing going on. Yep. It reminds me a little bit of it. Kangaroo, rightly or wrongly. I don't, I don't remember playing this. Uh, That's the skeleton, exact same. I'll go back on Easy Shrine's skin off. And that, this is a bit of a fish kind of one. A the fish. skeleton of this one. Is that custom version? No. What's it's that? Not. This is a skeleton of the fish kind of one. It's another one that we've not played, it, isn't it? So let's see. The Cori... Corythosaurus. The Corythosaurus. Corythosaurus, yeah. Oh, I've selected the... Uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to do the... Uh, the that's a... Right there. I'm going to go as... Batman, the Corythosaurus. Got the tail attack. Oh, that's actually quite cute. Are you jumping ahead, Alex? That's quite—that's actually quite cute, isn't it? It is probably the cutest skeleton that we uh, we have skeleton dino that we've seen it's, so it's far. It's seen Kylo. Yeah, the Kylo. Uh, and next up is seen Kylo. So I'm gonna be the skeleton. So actually, I think out of all the out of all of them. The Kylosaurus the is the cutest. I think that is the cutest skeleton, if there can be a cute skeleton version. Can the Kylosaurus no, doesn't, but he does this sort of push forward and press the square button. He just do the square button. Does the throw attack. If you push forward, there's a combination of things. You press, push forward, and it has a tail attack. Yeah, with the tail, that's the biggest. The big, big one for the Ankylosaurus, isn't it? That big. Yeah, that's the, that's the main attack. Tail swing. Well, yeah, it does the most damage of all the Ankylosaurus. Oh, when this spike on the back. Skeleton well. looks quite cool, actually. So and, that, and those bone pieces look like donkeys. This is quite an aggressive uh, medium dinosaur, and of course, you in the story mode of this, you get to play the Ankylosaurus as you defeat. The Indominus or is it the T-Rex? So they do both. Um, I think it's the Indominus, isn't it? In, in the no. Other, uh, no, it's it's either. Yeah. You do it, but you have a, I think the first one you have a fight with the Indominus, and then it's the, the T-Rex later on. No. Uh, anyway. No. One raptor, there's a raptor one, and there's a bonus. No, but you fight you fight the uh there's the, a it's the scene where you where you have to fight the Indominus in the, in the forest, don't you, when you're, when you're doing the gyrosphere escape, I think it is. But we move on, we move yeah. on, and that concludes it for all our medium dinosaurs in the middle from there. So again, like we did in the small dinos, you've got the custom versions of these that you can go back and create and they have a creation. Now this is where it gets exciting. These are where my favourite dinosaurs are and it's yep. a little large. Let's start section. with the Indominus Rex. Let's start with the best. Shall we, shall we go back backwards this time? So we're going to start with the Indominus. Yep. There we go. Welcome. Okay. I'm going to get my Indominus Rex. Just like push forward a little bit. And you can hold circle to kind of fall. 
Oh yes, the camouflage goes with that slide from the big black feature. So it's quite shaded. So what else we've got here? So we've got I think the square. And only other non threats can see them like kind of shaded. So you should be able to see me shaded a bit. But other people can't. So if you switch to to one of your people. There we go. Yeah, we both can see each other. But if I switch, if we switch. So you can't see me. I think I can. I think it's because. But we're, if we're you are actually there, you won't be able to see them. No. There we go. Right, so we shake off that. Uh, we can do a stomp attack in the circle. We can uh, attack the square for a headbutt attack. The circle? Do you, want, do you want an Indominus Rex versus an Indominus Rex? Bam. Excuse, excuse me, Red River Sneeze. Yeah. Yeah. Stop attacking me. Trying to figure out what to do here. Wait. Oh, sorry, I broke something. Alright, so I press it. Where does the big roar and that's the attack on the roar and that's the one to break down the... Uh... The Indominus Rex has confusing controls. It's like, that's that, that's got that. Well, there's multiple things in there, so you can, you can uh, hold... Whoa! <laughs> you just squash Tap or hold each of the buttons, the square yeah. and the circle button, there to give you different. Next buttons. up, we're on. We're gonna go backwards, so we're gonna go to the Spidosaurus. Yeah, I'll go for the Skeleton. Oh. I might do custom. I'm gonna have all the skeletons. Let's see which one. We didn't do the skeleton. Skeleton. Dominus Rex customized with the Spinosaurus. Yeah, I changed all my customs to have a spine, a spino spine. So, I uh, get it. I think the Spinosaurus is probably uh, the meanest. And you have to hold square. You have to hold square and then go. Stomp. And also, I forgot to mention, you can still kind of watch. That's a quite a versatile custom dinosaur that we've shown. So, the next is Spinosaurus. We have the more feature of the Spinosaurus. I don't because I can spit. So, I'm just Functionality. 
ominous facts. I didn't. I also didn't change any colors. Spinosaurus skeleton. Well, you wanna fight? Not really? T-Rex, where are you going? I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Oh. Well, it's left the, uh, left the area here. Oh, he's going to the innovation lab. I think he's going to do some customization. I'm going to make that one into a Spinosaurus. Right, so while everybody's doing that, let's see what we've got in terms of uh, square attack. So similar, similar for all these large dinosaurs. And then we're going to change back. And uh, that dinosaur. All right, you can. So what dinosaur was it? What does it custom thing look like? Yeah. It was the Baryonyx, wasn't it? Which is um, this one. Oh no, that's just some rocky sauce. Yes. That one there. That's it. You customize your baryonics. And uh, while you're doing the customization in there, we'll uh, take a look at that. I am going to. Uh, uh, I was going to give a look at the. Baryonyx skeleton. If I can time it correctly, there we go. This one can't have a spinal. Gonna like skeleton 
Baryonyx with a with a actual Pteranodon tail. Yeah. That is. Uh, he had no spinous. It did, had no spinosaurus things. Did it not? Okay. So that's all. That's all I had. Okay. Well, our next large dinosaur. Show you this. It's the biggest Look one it. available. The Braco. Look at this beast. Beast. Brachiosaurus. There's no Sub chance voice. of getting all this in here. But we will. Oh Wait. man, and it's so slow. So slow. But look at it. It's majestic. It's huge. So in the game, there's these things here that you need to crack and we can do this by using oh, we've got a bit of a roll there so it's the square for the stump you can't do anything with holding down the uh, square button and then the X you get to, you get look at that look at that thing Wow, look at that custom dinosaur there, that looks, that looks cool. It's my custom raptor. So cool. I'm just gonna go around, random, random, random on this thing. I'm trying to get a front, I don't think I can, I can't, I just can't. I can I? Can I? Can I? I can, there you go. We can get a front. That'll be fine. <laughs> so if we go for a stop, then we'll go for an X. And you can show off some of like my customs now. I've actually made them. In addition to hunting down smaller dinosaurs, there we go. the ship will be along. Halosaurus is equipped with a one massive of my hundred pound tail. Large dinosaurs. In Triceratops is the largest of all dinosaurs. Ooh. The short this is to, have an advanced sense of this is to tell you about the dinos. To prey from far so like you can Raptors move your thumbsticks. Which created an evolutionary incentive for the herbivores they hunted to learn to run fast. Tyrannosaurus Rex can bite with a force of over 12,000 pounds. The un while peaceful by nature, a threatened Stegosaurus can swing its tail at over 30 feet per second. Stegosaurus is most comfortable on all fours, but this armored dinosaur can sometimes be seen sitting up in a tripod pose on its head okay. to reach higher vegetation. Compsognathus typically hunts small lizards and insects, but like other opportunistic theropods, it will scavenge so larger animal carcasses when they're uh, available. Educate himself and some of the dinosaurs. Comparisonalophus features a crest on its head. Uh, it forms a long curved pipe pointing backwards from the skull. It's so huge! Look at all those neck The crest on its head helps Parasaurolophus distinguish between males and females. It also increases its hearing ability and helps regulate its body temperature. In Jurassic times. It's possible that a Patasaurus may have whipped their tails at high speeds to inflict wounds on curious predators. A Patasaurus can't chew. It has to swallow all of its plant food all. Parasaurola in Jurassic times. It's possible that a Patasaurus may have whipped their tails at high speeds to inflict wounds on curious predators. A Patasaurus can't chew. It has to swallow all of its plant Okay, so we're going to look at the Apatosaurus. Are you on the Apatosaurus, Alex? So Alex is learning about the... Uh, it's possible that Apatosaurus may there, have whipped their you. tails at high speeds to inflict wounds on curious predators. Apatosaurus can't chew. It has to swallow all of its plant food all. So we've got a stump. Oh, and there's the high speed tail attack. So yeah, we did. So we've got a stomp attack, and we've got a circle the tail attack. We've got nothing for hold of the square or the circle buttons. 
but we have got a little bit of a raw there. Mm. We need to go back and just have a quick look at the skeleton version of this. There it is. And here we go in terms of the size. Now oh, look at that, how the uh, how the like the shield type bones on the top of the legs flip forward as the uh, dino runs. Quite a uh, minky bony neck is the uh, Apatosaurus. Right. And that brings us to our final large dinosaur, which is, of course, the T Rex. Once so they record the skin of the T Rex, it's a natural the, makes uh, it resistant. Corthus. While the skull of Baryonyx well the looks slender, the Troodon is one of the most intelligent. Although they have no teeth, Pteranodons are common. In addition to hunting down smaller dinosaurs, don't be alarmed if you see our Ankylosaurus is a queen. Indominus's roar is estimated to reach a hundred and Dimorphodon has a set of small a special joint allows the Gallimimus Triceratops oh, some carnivores Triceratops the Indominus. Ankylosaurus is a queen. Don't be alarmed if you see. In addition to although they have no teeth, the Troodon, while the skull of Corythosaurus is able to, while the skull of Baryonyx looks slender. Corythosaurus. Once they reach their in Jurassic times, it's Parasaurolophus. Come side of this so well peaceful by the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Square. A force of over twelve. Raptors. Some carnivores. Raptor Tyrannosaurus Rex can bite with a force of over twelve thousand pounds. The undisputed king of the dinosaur, Raptor Tyrannosaurus Rex, can bite with a force of over twelve thousand pounds. The yeah. undisputed king of the dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus Rex, meant tyrant lizard in Greek. During the late Cretaceous period, the average Tyrannosaurus so we can Rex do the lived raw, about 30 years. Square tap it was most likely attack. felled by old age, disease, or hunger, rather than attacked by its fellow theropods. Tough as they so are, Tyrannosaurus Rex are susceptible to mouth parasites that their bird cousins carry. Regular checkups keep our <laughs> Tyrannosaurus healthy. It is. Out in the open, Tyrannosaurus Rex can reach speeds of 25 miles per hour. That's faster than even the quickest All human right, run. Alright, so we'll have a look at the skeleton version. Doesn't quite have the mean look though. I find again just a skeleton dinosaur. I think well, it's a Pterosaurolophus. In Jurassic, still. once they reach the Acorthosaurus, is it? Well, the skull of Betrodon is one of there the most. Although go. they have no teeth, in addition to hunting down, don't be alarmed if you see our pack. Ankylosaurus is equipped with a massive, hundred pound tail. Cut. A well aimed swing of this club could easily break the hind leg of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Go we'll back, and then Even our final thing that we'll have a look at will be the still have the orangey red version of this T Rex. Even their eyelids are armored.
go. So that concludes, that's all our large dinosaurs. That's all the dinosaurs that we've now reviewed. Never have had a look. So if you haven't locked them in the game already, you know what to expect. Right, so now what we're going to do now, Alex? We're going to move on to the vehicles. All right, so we're going to move. Oh, all right. Okay, Alex is going to come get me. I'll be back in a minute while I'm waiting. So Alex has uh, just been and got myself a, uh, a coffee and uh, Alex has kindly picked me up and brought me back to the vehicle delivery pad at the start of Gyrosphere Valley. So lots of vehicles to choose from uh, in this game. Uh, but again, you need to work through, simple first one. We'll work through the story mode to, uh, to be able to get here. So we have the Jurassic Park Responder, which is the vehicle that Alex has been picked me up in. Uh, there's a few variants of this kind of vehicle, uh, and this is one of my favourite vehicles to drive. Decent speed. Uh, this comes from the original, I think, the original Jurassic Park. Vehicle number one. So check, yeah, a vehicle. And what we'll do is uh, rather what I'll, I'm gonna do is gonna go through the uh, just have a look at the other couple of versions of the Jurassic Park responder here. So these are the same. Oh are you? Oh you're right, okay. Well I wasn't gonna take it for much of a drive, so just to uh, have a look at have a look at this one. 
because it's exactly the same. Whoa! Oh no, I tried to <laughs> I tried to zoom out of my camera then and uh, I forgot that that was also the reverse one. So, well, put this one here and then we'll have a bit of a whiz around it. So exactly the same as the previous vehicle but we've got the soft top roof on there. Uh, on this particular version and as you can see Alex has got in the car with me as well so if you've got uh, in if you're playing corp mode as we are then uh, you can take your part for a ride uh, next up what's this one called so this thing this was with this is with the roll cage in it yeah so the same again the responder uh, but with the roll cage uh, attached on this occasion so we'll, we'll jump in are you getting in? You're in. Oh, sat in the back of the time. Oh, for some reason this one didn't seem to be quite as responsive as this. Is Very funny, Alex. Yes, well compared to the other two as well, so the other two was uh, was much, uh, much better than that, so... Right. <coughs> we are going to go... Right, so we've done the uh, done the responders, so we're going to start working through uh, working through these so we know which ones that we, uh, we've done. So we've got the fault lift. Uh, this is a single seater vehicle. What? Oh great! Great. Now my yes, yes, and so was I. Try that again. So operates as you'd expect a fault lift to work. We are both uh, both wheels turn so we've got uh, incredibly tight turning circles let's do let's, let's do some donuts do some. Yeah, there you go uh, can you make the forks go up and down oh yeah can make square brings the forks up and now it's square you don't have to open, just press it so you can bring your forks up and down that's the cool uh, although I've still got it. Is there a part in the game where you have to drive the forklift and you lift the thing up? I can't remember lifting over the game. Oh no. man, that screech is getting a bit loud now. Um, but yeah, yeah, just like nice little functionality, isn't it? But to, uh, look at that, our perfect circle that we left on the floor for the tire marks. I'm doing that now. What? what are you skipping? It's the road sweeper. Yeah, but if we if we miss everything, we won't we'll be able to go through. So, uh, it is slow. So there's a couple of levels I think through the game where you need to play as the road, where you need to drive the road sweeper, and you drive over little mounds of dirt. I can't even get in it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so you drive over little mounds of dirt, and you into the, into the little, I don't know, things that you need to flex and get out of the way of the of the It's um right, so now we'll go into the Jurassic Park to a vehicle. Uh, but 
said. This one. Oh, what's going up in here? It's the Eisler Sauna Gathering. It's quite going up in here. And kind of right, so while Alex is driving this way, we can take him. This Alex killed the Stegosaurus. So I have to uh, say I have not seen all the Jurassic Park movies. I've seen I've seen Jurassic the original Jurassic Park and I think I've seen Jurassic World, but I haven't seen any of the uh, most satisfied with that. Uh, we did, we did watch Jurassic World together, but we haven't I haven't seen any of the other games in Jurassic World Part 2 and 3 or any of the additional Jurassic World movies. We have we played through all the story modes in Lego World, but I've not actually seen the, I've not actually seen those uh, I haven't seen those movies. So we've got the eyes there. Sauna Observer. Right, so I think, are you... Oh, do I? So this has obviously got the bubble thing in them. You can sit in and set as a back seat passenger, but there's a thing you can get in the back right there and presume that you stick your head up into that bubble at the top. I'm not sure. I don't think you, whether you can get in there as a Lego character. That doesn't seem so. So it looks very similar to the uh, the previous vehicle that we just demonstrated. Uh, and although I haven't seen uh, I haven't seen all of the films, I think Lego the creators of the game have done it in a job. Same for everything else, so the Van Owen. Uh, we featured this vehicle before in our broadcasts, and that uh, I'm liking it, and it's to me, it feels and it looks very much like a yeah, something from the 1960s. Similar to the responders, although I just, uh, it's just not as attractive for me. It's a nice vehicle to drive. that one. Alright, so... Oh, so you've just brought the hunter... So we had the 
Hunter Scout. We've had the Hunter Harasser. Uh, we've got the Hunter Snagger. Wow. That is not what I expected when I uh, put that. That is huge. So what? Well, well, obviously there's a big, there's a seat and the can you sit in the seat on the sides? There's some seats on the side, presumably we can uh, sit in there for the uh, we have the weapons and once we've caught some sort of dino or something we can put it in this cage on the back. Okay, we've got the horn. Um, but that's it, the the fork, you can't make the fork things work on this one. Oh, you're in. Oh, like it. Put the lid on, leave him in there. Uh, so, we did that. Hunter Scout, oh, the uh, Hunter Snagger, we've done the Hunter Harasser. We've got the Hunter Snare ATV, which is a little Team 10 quad bike. So, right, this is. Um, well, it's not much to look at. But it is incredibly quick, massively responsive. And. Oh, I must have had really difficult. No. It takes a bit of time to get used to because it's got such. Uh, it's so responsive, the steering. Uh... Oh, crash. You just gotta make tiny, tiny, tiny thumbs to this. And once you've been used to driving all the other things, this is just a completely different, different world. If you try and drive them in the same kind of way. Yes, so as you can hear, it's a fun, it's a fun one to drive. Trying to avoid the Stegosaurus. <laughs> there we go. I think that's probably some of the best uh, driving. It doesn't say a lot about driving, man, but some of the best driving I've managed to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so of the uh, of the Hunter series, so we've looked at the Snare ATV. We've got the Hunter Snare, which is the, uh, the is the bike. It's a small version of Owen's bike. So, and again, it's a fun one to it's a fun one to drive. It's uh, once you've been driving around on the uh, on the quad bike, there's only the bike much easier to. B transport, so I'm not sure which, uh, which one this one comes from. Alright, just running you over a few times. <laughs> well, I said they're not going to go far, I didn't expect just to. Go straight into the uh, thing. straight into the thing there. I think we're stuck. So we're gonna get another vehicle. Let's get the next one. We'll try that again. Just so we can drive around the one. Yeah. We'll drive down onto the rest here. Back it up. And there you go, can have a look at that. 
can't comment whether it looks like it's something from the film art. You can say you can get a couple of people sat in the back here. Yeah, there you go. If you want to comment below and tell me why I keep the black one, I don't know if it's just getting in my way. Um, Give him some advice of what to do not to get flattened, like you know, keep out of the way. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Remember seeing this at any point during the game? Did we drive it? I really can't remember driving this vehicle in the game. Oh, I do. I do remember chase driving it. So we drove it down the street while we were being chased by a T-Rex. And we did we we had the did we have the baby T Rex in the back? Yeah. We did. We had the baby T Rex in the back of the car. Oh, I do remember. So I don't know, honestly, I don't think this is uh, particularly attractive one to uh, to look at. I don't find it fun to drive either. I don't find it very I don't find it even funny or bad. It's boring. What we got next then the police car. I thought there was a way to be able to put sirens on us. I've tried that one. That one doesn't work. Square doesn't work. Squares are hard. If I hold... Oh, nothing, nothing, do we? Nothing. Nothing! I can't remember driving a police car in the game, either. No, we didn't drive it. We never drove it. We never drove it again. Good job you can remember. So another site, is that another site beat transporter? Different colour. Couple of people in the back. Slightly, slightly different make it this way. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. Yeah, there you go. It is a rusty version and it uh, handles like a rusty version as well. Leave that there. A little bit now. What we got next? The pickup pick up truck. Face, let's pick up truck. <coughs> I don't know which movie this one comes from. Alright, so you can't stay in the back. Whenever I try to drive, Alex just stays in position and it doesn't move with the vehicle, it's not secured with it. To command. Flashes. 
outside there and got a slave that was just flushing down my legs. No worries. It is really flushing across my legs though. Come on, give me a, give me a... Hit me, hit me! Oh. <laughs> Boom, there we go. I've respawned, so oh, you've picked up the next vehicle. So, what's this one? What, can you read it? What does it say, Alex? Sight B Saloon, it does say Sight B Saloon. Sight be saloon, so yes, we're yeah. now on to Hunter Transport. So it looks like another one with the cage on the back of the uh, sort of moving uh, dinosaur around. Oh, gosh, this took such a long time to turn. Ooh. Yeah, we're fine. Let's move on and have a look at our next vehicle. The Hunter Trapper. It'd be cool if you could climb up the ladders and interact with the vehicles in that kind of way. Oh. Yeah. It would. So aside from the fact that my driving is is pretty rubbish, really, uh, but it also shows the yeah, uh, it's a bit, bit more difficult to handle. So Alex is loading the next car up into the, del the delivery pad, and this one, is this a fire engine? It looks like a fire engine. Oh, it's the Jurassic Constructor. So, oh, it's not, so they've got construction tools, helmets. Uh, there is a hose in there, but. No sirens on it. Oh yeah, so the I mean, those are like the orange flashing maintenance lights that you get on the vehicles. Very, very similar to the responder, a bit maybe a bit more of an updated from a different one of the movies, but the buggy. I just think these look really cool and I think really fun to drive to drive around the park. Oh, 
save this one for a bit of a longer ride. Try to go to do is try to do a 3.7 in here. Try to get the camera to swing my arm so I can see where I'm going. Oh, it's turned too soon. We'll buy the Stegosaurus. I just think it looks, I just think that looks pretty cool. Transport. Jurassic World Transport. So the standard uh, standard vehicle for driving around in uh, Jurassic World looks like I think you could probably get a couple of people in the back. Jurassic World Observer. And then we have the driver's field. Okay, so look at this, you can get what oh how many seats in there? Two, four, six, six people in the back and the driver and a passenger in the front. So eight people to seat in this thing, so you know, if you take the people out on tours. Take group, group tours out of from the hotel. But if you are running Jurassic World and you are taking people, your tourists on on daily tours, then it's uh, obviously a handy vehicle to be able to have. It is. So is this is that what kind of version? All right. I think this is this comes from where uh, Zach and uh, Zach and Gray, I think, are they? Is it? They find the they go into the old uh, they find the old um, they find Jurassic Park. They find the original Jurassic Park place, don't they? And they go in and there's the, the vehicle, and in the game you have to get this vehicle working again, put on the tyres and put the engine and put the air and petrol in. So we've we've driven around in this vehicle it, it works in the same kind of way but as you can see this it's a it's a rusted up version of the uh, of the uh, responder from the with the roll cage from the original Jurassic Park movie. Oh Jurassic That's not what it said. Jurassic Pursua, so yes, this is Owen's bike that he'll uh, races through the through the trees and the woods. Handles 
very similar to so it's very similar to the uh, to the other bike in China. Okay, excuse me. You bike bar left, so the Jurassic ATV, so this is the larger quad bike, so again, single seat. Oh, I was just going to say a single seater, but you can sit somebody on the back. I'm not sure that fancy rest is on there if it goes to be. Um, but again, a fun one to drive. Responsive vehicle, good speed. One day doing this. And on the back and Owen driving the Oh, did we? Oh, right. I see. Right, so yeah, so this is uh, a yeah, fun, fun big drive. But uh, slightly less responsive, easier to control than the little uh, the little quad bike that we uh, that we looked at. Uh, bike, because you're always. So, in gen transports. This is a beast of a vehicle. I mean, this looks like something that the uh, that you'd expect the uh, army to to have. So you can see, there's three in the front. There's at least at least two seats. I think you can just about see in there in the back. And maybe even more. I don't know if that's so. There's beds in the back there, so you can put on that so you can sleep on. You know, carrying the injured if you've uh, had a dinosaur attack. Uh, huge vehicle, this one, and the problem being is when you're playing in split screen mode like this, you can't see much what's in front of the side. Whoa, we nearly ended up in the lake then. We'll drive back to the delivery pad. I think of all the vehicles that we've seen so far today, this is the one vehicle that uh, I would say that I would feel most safe in if I was driving around in Jurassic World or in Jurassic Park. I think, I think that just offers the best level of protection from the dinosaurs in my Alright, so just three more three more cars to go, so we've got the mobile bet you in it. So again, having seen the film, this is the this is from Jurassic World. Where driving the truck with Zach and Gray in the back of the bags off the raptors. See that here with the uh, raptor slash marks on the doors at the back as they yeah, they try to baffle their uh, their way in. And in the game, obviously, you play as uh, you get to play as Zach and Gray in the back trying to fight off the raptors. Gen command. So again, this looks like a good, I mean, all the uh, Gen vehicles are very much army influence. Um, the other one that would feel safe in driving around that just don't play with us for much of the attractive. Spacious as well, I mean, I'd rather be stuck in that one than this. Yeah, but it does look very solid. So finally, finally, uh, our last vehicle in Alex has managed to nearly use up all his controller battery. That's fun. It's the ACU transport. So easy to 
guys that go and The acid containment unit. They go and capture the dinos. Six wheel vehicle. So that concludes it for all the vehicles you've now seen. You've now seen all of the vehicles that are available in Jurassic World. You've seen all of the dinosaurs that are available in Jurassic World. And that is all that we're going to have time for in this morning's episode. Thank you for joining us. I hope you found it interesting. And we will catch you again sometime soon. It's perfect timing for me to have um, 